committee chair to invite our guest, Tiana Gaines Turner, to testify about anti-poverty programs. Tiana is a witness to hunger and a married mother of three who receives food stamps and other federal benefits to help make ends meet. But the Republican chairman of the committee refused to have Tiana to his war on poverty hearing. Thus, my letter this week is to that chairman, Congressman Paul Ryan. Dear Congressman Ryan, it's me, Melissa. Look, it is a great thing that you had a hearing on poverty, that you asked whether we've made any progress in the war on poverty in the past 50 years. I'm actually really glad that you had four experts on poverty programs, including our favorite nun on the bus, Sister Simone Campbell. But you know what would have been a hell of a lot better? If you'd actually heard from someone who is, in fact, living in poverty. Someone who's working and still struggling to feed and clothe her children and to afford health care. Now, here's the kind of thing you may have heard from Tiana, describing her life on our show in May. Food insecurity is not just um, a depression or a stress for an adult. It's very much on the minds of young children every day. And I don't understand how people can sit and sleep knowing that there's a child somewhere, eight years old, four years old, worrying about, is my mom going to eat? So you had the chance to hear her, Congressman Ryan. But you refused, only allowing Representative Barbara Lee to enter Tiana's written comments into the record. Would things have been different if she was there? Would you have been able to look Tiana in the eye while telling her that you care about the poor? At the start of your hearing, you said you want to find ways to lift people out of poverty. This is about improving people's lives. In this country, the condition of your birth should not determine the outcome of your life. If you work hard and play by the rules, you can get ahead. That is something that we all believe in and that we all care about. Fantastic rhetoric, but your budget proposals paint a very different picture. Your so-called Path to Prosperity budget would cut $135 billion from SNAP. You know the food stamp program that feeds 22 million American households a month? Let's put that in perspective. That's more than six times the amount House Republicans proposed cutting in their farm bill earlier this year. Even that much smaller cut, $20.5 billion, to your $135 billion would be devastating to American families. According to a new study by the Health Impact Project, the comparatively small $20.5 billion cut could result in 5.1 million people losing their food stamps, including more than one million children. Hundreds of thousands of Americans would go hungry. Is that something that we can all believe in, Congressman? The study also found that the SNAP cuts in the Farm Bill, again, a tiny fraction of the cuts you want, would increase the poverty rate. That is not exactly lifting people out of poverty. And that increase in hunger and poverty would lead directly to an increase in diseases like diabetes and heart disease in adults and asthma and cognitive impairment in children. Tell me, Congressman, how exactly is that improving people's lives? And your plan doesn't even save any money. The increase in diabetes alone would cost $15 billion more in health care costs over the next decade. And the impact from the cuts you want, Congressman Ryan, would be six times worse. Could you look Tiana Gaines Turner in the eye and say that you want to improve her life while taking away the means to feed her family? Would you have been able to keep a straight face? since you refused to allow her at your poverty hearing?